Hi, this is Kat Martin with Terrier Vision. I'm here with head men's basketball coach, Mike Young. Coach, not many times I get to say this. You guys just won against Samford in quadruple overtime. How are you feeling right now? I'm exhausted. And Kat, I just walk around over there and bark out orders every now and then. And, and I got kids out here playing 58 minutes, um, you know, out of, uh, out of 60. Um, that was a classic and, you know, feel very fortunate to have won. Sanford deserved to win every bit as much as we did. Those kids, those kids fought and played a, a heck of a ball game. Um, told somebody a minute ago, that's a game that, you know, no, nobody deserves to, to lose. Both teams deserve to win, but that's not how it works out. Somebody walks out of here feeling great. Somebody walks out of here feeling poorly, but I'm sure Coach Padgett is awfully proud of uh, the resolve and toughness of, uh, of his team. Um, great college basketball game. Great, great game and a, and a lot of fun to be a part of. Now there's only four games left in the Benjamin Johnson Arena and you guys just played the longest one in Benjo's history. <laughs> what does that mean to you guys? Um, you know, the, the gym that keeps on giving. Um, this gym has been great to us. Uh, we've won a lot of games in this place, been hard to beat in here. Um, you know, I'm not sure. I've been a part of a four overtime game in my career. Glad it worked out. I'm glad it worked out. Glad I've got tough kids when, and really good players uh, that um, allowed us to get over the hump there in the last one and uh, get a couple of stops. I thought they scored, you know, about 37 straight times there at, uh, at one point. But, um, you know, in the fourth, uh, we dug down and had a couple of good stops and uh, made our fouls as we always do and and uh, and won the game. A lot of things that happened tonight. Fletcher had no fouls. Eric had no turnovers. You know, I've come to expect it with Eric. He played 58 minutes and had zero turnovers. I, I don't think the average fan realizes what a luxury that is. Uh, you know, I honestly don't. I don't think about. Um, him ever turning the ball over. When he does, it's like uh, it's like so foreign. Um, he's a special man. And Fletch, to give us those minutes, um, he wasn't himself uh, early in the game. I, I don't think he had made a three before the first overtime. And then in typical Fletch fashion, he lost his mind. He got five down, and he was, uh, he was awesome. He was moving well. Um, Proud of, I'm proud of our team, not just those three guys. Ryan Solvel had 16 points and 16 rebounds. Um, Matthew Pegram uh, did some things that really helped our team. He had another night when he's, you know, he's fouling incessantly, and that, you know, that bothers me. And I want him on the floor more. Um, he's making great progress, but had a uh, had a tough night in only 18 minutes tonight. We could have used him out there more. You know, we had. Uh, you know, we had a situation with Cameron and Matthew with two fouls, and uh, Deshaun hadn't played in a bit, uh, but had been practicing well and had been part of our scout team. And I thought, you know, he was engaged uh, and had a good look about him. Comes in, and that young man helped us win. He took a charge. He scored a big basket here in the first half. He four, had uh, he had four uh, rebounds. Um, that is being ready when your number's called upon. Uh, you, you don't come onto the floor and into a game and then prepare yourself. The preparation is done, you know, in the day leading up to the game, in the shoot around uh, uh, on day a game. And um, very proud and, and encouraged by uh, Deshaun's play. Garcia, handoff McGee, long three pointer, good with 13.7 seconds to go. Wofford down two. Terriers pressing, inbound pass, taken away by McGee, lays it in, scores, he's fouled, McGee stole the inbound pass. Way left wing, McGee, deep three, got it! Fletcher McGee has awakened, and he's brought this crowd to their feet, Wofford up by four. Fletcher, your career high of 36 points tonight, 26 of those being in overtime. How did you do that? Um, I don't really know. I, d I definitely didn't play good the whole game. So as soon as I came out in overtime, I remembered I played pretty bad down in overtime there last year. So um, I just had to say I'm going to play. I'm going to leave it all out there, and um, I'm going to try to get to my spots and get my shots and try to um, get us back in the game. What are your emotions after this game tonight? <sighs> I don't know. I've never had an emotional roller coaster or anything like that before. I thought we were going to win. thought we had to, I mean, obviously it looked like we were going to lose for a second, and then um, we ended up coming up on top. So there's probably no better feeling than that right now. 
talk about Fletcher and we've talked about Eric individually. Talk about how they play together. Now they have a great uh, rapport with one another because they're in here so much by themselves working on their games. There's a real mutual respect between the two. Um, I mean, I'm literally in here playing one-on-one, -on -one, rebounding for one another. And college basketball has been and always will be a guard game. If you've got poor guards, you're going to have a hard time. Now, if you can put a big post player in there, as we do, you got a chance to do very well. And um, but you got two kids like Garcia and, uh, and Fletch that score and uh, are unselfish. Uh, that's uh, that's a quite a luxury, and um, I think those two kids are a lot of kids in this league that are playing well. None playing any better than uh, than Fletcher McGee and Eric Garcia. Did you feel like Tracy McGrady when you scored six points in two seconds? Um, I don't know. I've I've never really thought about something like that, but I was just lucky that um, we did a great job denying the passes on that last inbounds play, and the ball guy ball kind of got deflected to me, and um, I was there to make a play, so that was really great. So what are you going to do with your shoes after tonight's game? Well, actually, I changed shoes at halftime. Um, <laughs> so these ones are, I'm going to keep wearing them until they, till they run out. They're definitely uh, getting old and, and dirty, but I got to ride the storm with them. How did you keep your team calm in such an intense moment? Just having good players, just having kids that, you know, relish um, moments like these, no matter the situation, up 20. You know, down 10 uh, is, um, you know, you find yourself from time to time. Next play, even keel, not too high, not too low. Um, finish the game and, you know, guys that, uh, that, have, that have been here and done it, um, that, you know, it, it, that, that, that part of it's that's a piece of cake. That's not hard. Um, Putting them in the right places and you know making sure that uh, you've got the right matchup. That's uh, that's what uh, that's where you earn your money. Thanks, Coach Gunn. Great game tonight. Cat, thank you.